Hey, what's up guys? Spears here, and welcome to the video you guys have all been asking for um, on my Instagram and Twitter and stuff, and YouTube. Um, it's my new Jeep. I'm a soccer mom now. I'm just kidding. It's, it's an SRT Jeep. Uh, so, I mean, a badass soccer mom. That's what I am. Look at that. It's a flipped upside down SRT, but that <laughs> street racing technology. It's not what that stands for, but I wish. <sighs> so, what, what's the first thing to get started with here? Well, one thing is there's little Easter eggs, which I kind of appreciate on the Jeep here. Um, I don't know if you guys can really see that, but you see it says since 1941 right there. It's when they started creating or building Jeeps. Um, and right over here, it says, it has a little, oh, is it there anymore? Yeah, there it is. It's a, it's a little Jeep. Look at that. Little Willy's Jeep. These are the uh, carbon forged uh, wheels with like these little slots in them that I, I kind of like, honestly. I didn't, I didn't realize they had these because I had to drive like two hours to get this or an hour and a half basically two hours to to pick this up because there's a really good deal it's a it's a fully loaded jeep a 2017 jeep srt why did i say 2017 so weird 2017 jeep srt um sorry so yeah these are the uh i don't know why i said sorry these are the uh summer p0s the pirelli p0s they're not a very well i don't really like them that much they don't last very long and i don't know they they wear kind of weird but they're 295s these are these tires are bigger than the ones on my hellcat not the rears but like come stock they're 285s on a hellcat um, so yeah, these are the back. It's 295s all the way around, so 295, 295, and then, you know, 295s on the other side. Um, the color is like Rhino Gray is what it's called, or Rhino. It's like a blue, gray, like, you can't really tell in videos, but it's it's a really nice color. Um, I'm gonna have to get Ceramic Pro, uh, is it Ceramic Pro? Yeah, Ceramic Pro or OptiCoat done on it. Is there wax? Did they wax this? They waxed it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate it, I guess. <laughs> I didn't expect them to wax it. The dealership waxed it for me. All right. Well, yeah, like I said, I'm going to get uh, Ceramic Pro on it, which is like a, a cover. It's like a film, basically, that adheres to the paint and just makes everything bead off of it. Um, and I'm going to have to get this Jeep blacked out because I don't understand this. Everything else is blacked out except for the Jeep logo here and in the back. And that's where I bought it right there. They have their, <laughs> their logo on the front. It's uh, Connell's Dodge. They're really nice guys. Um, and I kind of like what they did over here with the Grand Cherokee. It's like half chrome, half like blacked out. It kind of just makes it pop. I don't know. I like that. Um, so just moving on here to the back. Here's the back. So it says another another Connell sticker <laughs> right there. They really stickered me up here. Um, but this is the tow hitch. You can tow with this. You can tow up to 7,000 pounds or 7,800 pounds or something like that. I'm not going to tow with it probably, but you just remove this. And uh, you can tell those are the exhaust tips. I'm going to be changing the exhaust out. If you guys have any idea um, of like, you know, a good company or if you guys have heard SRT Jeeps in person with exhausts on them or you have one, just uh, post a comment and let me know what you think. I was thinking Borla, but I don't know. You guys just let me know in the comments. Um, oh, yeah. And this is the, the Jeep that we need to black out to. Looks ridiculous. I don't know why, man. Like everything else is blacked out. They just got the chrome Jeeps. Um, let's go on the passenger side here first. So... The interior isn't like the all leather package. It's the uh, the leather sides with suede um, inserts. So these are like suede. You can see they like, kind of change color. Um, I really like them, honestly. I think they're they're comfortable. My Hellcat is all leather, so like it's all all this stuff. Basically, Ooh, this stuff. It's all this. Um, you got SRT right there. The red seat belts. This is like a two hundred dollar option or something, or like ninety dollar option. I don't know. I don't know why you wouldn't get them. Look at this. It just, it contrasts so well with the black, it's crazy. Um, and then you got the, the updated, uh, it's a 2017, so everything's the newest, I guess. The newest version of the Jeep, Grand Cherokee. Um, you got your little storage thing right here, and uh, it's got DVD players in the back, or Blu-ray players, sorry, in the back. So you just shove a Blu-ray in there and play it. Um, you can kinda, I'll get back there in a second to show you, but you can also put HDMIs in them too. So you could probably hook up like a laptop or something to the screens, and I don't know what you could really hook up. Pretty much anything, honestly. We're gonna go check out the back, actually. I just wanna show you the screens before I get too sidetracked. Eh. Yeah, so here's the, eh. Here's the screens. I think they're touch screens as well. I'm never gonna use them. But if you guys wanna come for a ride, I'll come pick you up. You can watch, uh, you can watch Lord of the Rings. You can watch Star Wars on Blu-ray. Huh? I've got, those are the only two things I have on Blu-ray, so that's what you could watch. Uh, <laughs> you get this SRT thing on the, um, the visor. Um, and it says like, dear valued customer, chassis, blah, 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 blah. This is what you should put in it for, for uh, gas and, and all that stuff and oil. Um, back here, you've got heated seats. Let me try and get closer, my camera work here. You got heated seats and USBs. So if I was a kid, this is where I'd want to be. But I've never had kids, so that's all good. Um, this is all real carbon fiber all the way around. It's just like, uh, 
like powder, or not powder coated. Um, what is that? Clear coated. It's like clear coated carbon carbon fiber, so you can't scratch the shit out of it. But it feels really cool, um, and it doesn't actually like show fingerprints at all, which is I like that. I appreciate that. Um, okay, yeah. Let's go over and get into the the driver's seat real quick. So yeah, these are the slotted. You can see the slots right there. Slotted rotors in the front and in the back. The back's literally just regular. Oh no, those are slotted too. Okay, so maybe it's all the way around. I have no idea, man. It's just a really weird option. And then you have the uh, the heat extractors on the hood there, just like the Hellcat. I'll actually pop the uh, the hood so you guys can see that I'm I'm not playing. It's an SRT. <laughs> now I think the horsepower for the 2017 Jeep Grand Cherokee is 485, 485. 485 horsepower and 485 torque. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But uh, here it is, the big girl, the great on gas. I had this engine in the Super B, if you guys remember the Super B, my yellow charger. That's the exact same engine, which is kind of crazy um, that it's in a Jeep. But there's your there's your computer for the engine, your PCM, which is really easy to get to. Um, intake, which I'm gonna be changing, um, because look right here, you, uh, you plop these two out, and pull it out and it becomes like an air inlet so if you hook a like an aftermarket intake up to it you can get air cold air from in here and uh where's the cold air come in comes in from down here in here and around here i think so that that might actually help a little bit um but yeah what do you guys think of the paint man like i really like this color is you don't see it very often apparently well that's what the uh, the dealer was telling me and uh, i believe him because i've never seen this color before but there it is there's the engine I'm just gonna sit in it real quick. Uh, yeah. uh, very graceful spears, making the sounds. Um, so yeah, this is the uh, the cockpit, the cock pit. <clears throat> um, I mean, everything's kind of like, it's not angled towards you really, like in the Hellcat, this is all angled this way, you know, it's not, it's not really, it's flush. But that's a 8.4 inch touchscreen. This is your seven inch display. Um, I mean, oh, it's got the upgraded sound system too. I forgot to tell you guys that. 19 speakers and two subwoofers. It's a little crazy, but all this is suede too, which is nice. It's really, I mean, not that you're ever gonna like, oh, this feels great, but it does feel nice. Um, but we'll just give it a start here. Just got the red startup button. You see what I mean? It's kind of too, too quiet. It's not that it's too quiet, but it's, it's too quiet, I think. Um, now I got Sirius XM, which is nice. Huh? Copyright oh me? Yep, not monetized. I don't even know what that is. Pop? I don't like that. I'm gonna put my window up so I don't feel like an idiot. But uh, I really like the shifter. In the in the 2015s, they had like this little joystick thing. It was like a T handle, and it was sitting really awkward, like right here. I didn't like that at all. But the 2017, this feels really good. Like it looks goofy, but it feels like solid. Like oh yeah, it feels great. Um, <laughs> Sorry, it's got um, all your little your dial options here, so you can you can put it to sport, snow, tow, and track. That's great. This one right here is amazing for us Canadians. We we like to see that. Good job, uh, Fiat and Dodge and Chrysler. That's good. Canadians like this. Well, we don't like it, but we like to see that option. It makes us feel good. Um, but this is what happens when you press the launch control. Launch control unavailable in new vehicle. That's fucking annoying. Hold on, let me press that. Press it again. Check it out. Like. <laughs> I guess it's in a break-in period like I didn't know it really had a break-in period, but that's that's cool Because um, I was asking the dealer. I was like, what do you guys think of the break-in period? And they're like, yeah We don't really believe in break-in periods. I'm like, okay. They're like just drive it like you stole it And I was like, okay, cool. Well, I'm just gonna drive away like I did steal it <laughs> um, What else? Yeah, the carbon fiber like I said goes all the way around uh, It's got like leather on the dash. It's like soft touch, which is, which is nice. Oh, yeah Another cool thing. It's a weird quirk. I feel like Doug DeMiro right now a weird quirk is look at this you press that one for this light, and then you push for that light. Very weird. I don't know. I mean, that's kind of like a reading light, I guess, or something. But I don't know why you'd be reading while you're driving. And it's the same thing on this side. And by the way, Jeep and Chrysler, why the fuck are these not LEDs? That makes no sense. No sense at all. Come on, guys. Like, I can plop these out and make them into LEDs really easily. Same thing with these ones. Why, why isn't this an LED? Look at that. That's goofy. It looks so old. But, you know... Hey, oh, like I was saying, the red seatbelts look really nice. Um, and a lot of people were like, man, don't, you know, don't get rid of the truck and stuff. Like, the truck's badass. This is pretty badass. Like, an SRT Jeep 
like I've had a bunch of people try and race me already. Like if you know what you're looking for, you know it's an SRT Jeep. So I think this is pretty badass, honestly. I've always wanted an SRT Jeep. And uh, now I've got one with great gas mileage. I filled up yesterday and I've had it for less than a day and I'm already at mm, below half a tank. So I'm, I'm not regretting it, I swear. I'm, maybe I'll make a Patreon so I can pay for the gas. I don't know. <laughs> In, but sorry, don't worry about the GoPro there. It's just for exhaust stuff. Um, I was driving with it on so you guys could hear it. But uh, there's the, the little um, cubby for your phone and everything. And it comes with a red charger. Look at that. I'm just kidding. I bought that. Um, so you just plug your charger in there. And that's how you, you hook up your iPod and stuff to listen to music or your phone you listen to music on. Um, everything like feels steady though. And, and like a lot of, a lot of people are like, oh man, you know, Dodge's build quality is bad. Like everything that comes from Fiat is, you know, their build quality is not good. Like the, the lines on this are all good. Like everything closes nicely. Like it, it just, it feels sturdy. You know what I mean? It doesn't, it doesn't feel clumsy and flimsy and clumsy, you know? Well, I don't know why I'd feel clumsy. Oh yeah. This is another thing here. Check this out. The, the panoramic moonroof. I probably should have opened that so there's better lighting in here, but it keeps going back forever. So basically, I could tint, that window's tinted, those back windows are tinted, but I could tint these ones like pitch black and just open this up and it would look like they're kind of, I mean, it would lighten up the interior so cops would be like, I could give it illegal tint basically. I wouldn't do that, that's illegal, but I would do that. I'm, I wouldn't do that. Um, oh yeah, so where's the other thing here? Oh yeah, the SRT pages, you guys probably know what that is. So you push the SRT button, Sorry, I can't keep track. I'm not used to doing car reviews. I'm used to just gaming. That's it, really. But here's your uh, your SRT pages. You can customize it. So, like, well, this is your, I guess, your transmission and all that stuff. Your um, all-wheel drive system steering. But uh, these are the SRT pages. This is what I wanted to open. Sorry. I don't know why I keep apologizing. It's fucking... I'm Canadian. I guess that's what we do. But ugh, there's the performance pages with your little Jeep. That's not my Jeep, but it's white. So that's cool. I think you can change that. I just... I don't really know how, honestly. Can I change you? No? Okay. Um, so yeah, you got your timers, your zero to sixties and all that, like your last, your best. I haven't, I haven't done anything yet, so it hasn't, hasn't really recorded anything. Um, I'm kind of, I'm, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for performance mods. I think I'm just going to, performance wise, sorry, I think I'm just going to put a, uh, some long tube headers, exhaust, and an intake. And hopefully we can get into like the, the, the three seconds quarter mile for that. And maybe a tune, I don't know. Um, but right now it does 0 to 60 in 4.3 seconds, I think, or 4.2 or 4.4, something around that range with uh, with launch control, which is crazy for a fucking, what, 5,500 5, pound Jeep or something like that. This is heavy, man. So you got your oil temperatures, coolant temperatures. They're all in Canadian numbers. If you guys aren't Canadian, I'm sorry. Or if you're not, you know, the rest of the world, this is, this is, uh, well, 96 is probably like, shit like 180 degrees i don't know something like that you got your battery voltage intake air temperature is 33 that's cool uh trans temperature 36 36th um you got your g-forces you know you're gonna be ripping it on the track um this actually handles better than my hellcat so let me just let me say that um and then you got your engine power so if i was to rev it a little bit that's what it took to do that it's in park I was fucking glad I didn't go in that swamp over there. That looks like something straight out of Trailer Park Boys. Just that whole scene right there. Doesn't it? You guys ever seen Trailer Park Boys? If you haven't, I'm sorry. Um, but it's got 19 speakers, like I was saying. So there's one here. There's like two in each door. And then I don't know where the other ones are. Oh, oh there's in the ceiling. And then in the back. In the sub, the subwoofers are in the back, I think. Something like that. It's really loud. Um, I wish I didn't have copyrighted music on, but... <sighs> Oh yeah, fucking rip it, Howie. Yeah, dude. I don't know what he's singing about. He's singing about something sad. Um, and yeah, I mean, you get your, the SRT mats. I'm gonna get uh, WeatherTech mats though, because in the winter those get destroyed, um, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna ruin them because that'd be sad. Uh, and these cup holders are really nice too. They illuminate at night, but they have like little pincers here. They pinch, pinchy pinch. Um, and yeah, I mean, oh, sorry, there's three speakers in each door. Look at that, there's a speaker right there, right there, and then right up in the corner. So yeah, what's your guys' favorite part about the interior? Um, my personal favorite part, I think, is the shifter and the carbon fiber in the seat belts. That's what I like the most about the interior. Uh, but you also have all these menus here in your in your um, seven inch display. And you I mean, you can configure it however you want. Like the upper left hand corner is time. You can put your gear display on full, single. So you could be like, hey, you're in park, or hey, you're in drive. 
you know, I'm probably, I'd probably just keep it like that, honestly, that looks pretty cool. Um, so what else? Let's just, favorite menus, current gear, um, default, you can change it all to default. Um, the outside temperature's up in the right hand, you can put that to anything, you know, your average fuel economy and stuff, upper left, and then gear display and all that. Um, and if you want to get out of it, you just go back. And you got messages stored, no stored messages, thank God. My car's not trying to... Sorry, my camera just filled up. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, if I swerve off into like another lane, the wheel literally pulls itself back. Like it'll pull itself back to the center and you can't stop it. Like I've tried to stop it. It's like, fuck you, bitch. I'm a, I'm a vehicle. You're not stronger than me. So it pulls you back. And um, it's also got a, a, a sensor in the front. So if you get too close to people and uh, they break, then your car is going to break for you, which is cool. I feel like it's going to kill me someday though. But it also parks itself, which is kind of scary. Um, I'm not sure which one the park assist is. Oh, there it is. Parking. Right there. So if I press that, shift uh, into drive to use active park assist. Uh, wait, what? Active park sense? So put it in reverse. And then is it, is it ready to go? Hold on. Uh, park. Okay, activate. Oh, maybe I want to go that way. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. That's not working. Um, is it this one? No, it's not this one. What? Oh, shit. There's too many fucking buttons. Which one is it? Uh, um, eco mode? No, it's not eco mode. I don't know, man. Anyways. Oh, it's got the backup camera too, which is nice. So any, any way you turn the, the wheel, that's where those little lines go. You see? So it kind of guides you in, which is really cool. Um, oh yeah, and the apps. This, this is kind of like a phone now. So you can, you can grab apps and drag them down and put them wherever you want. So if you wanted to change, like... I don't know, controls out for nav, you just do this. You grab it, pull it down, and then it disappears. It's great, now you got nav right there. I don't use nav though, so I'll put my controls back. You just push down on it. It's pressure sensitive, I did not know that, but hey, that's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm definitely gonna make a, a driving video with this, or a few driving videos, and um, I'm probably gonna put those on my second channel if I don't put them here. Um, and my second channel is just uh, Spears the Mediocre HD. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm going to be doing performance stuff to this. So there's also going to be videos on that. Like the exhaust intake and all that. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep saying hope you guys enjoyed until you say you enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Post a comment and let me know if you... I spit all over my windshield, didn't I? Yep, great. Fucking great. This is my other favorite part of the exterior. Sorry, I was going to end the video. But look at this. Aren't those lights badass? It looks like it's angry. It's like, I'm very angry right now for some reason, because I'm a vehicle. I don't want to be a vehicle. I don't want to be driven. That looks great.